man that, that was so rad like no so rad. video it's so weird to like watch uh a trailer for yourself you know what i mean oh i bet it's, I bet it's, it's such a strange experience well, but i i love seeing all that stuff cut together because those like are all <laughs> like little pieces you know of things that i do and mm -hmm. uh I've never even thought to like kind of put it all together in a compilation like that. And so it's, that was a lot of fun to watch. So now, now you know what an intro looks like. It's <laughs> weird. It's weird to be intro. <laughs> you just, you just of, need a couple of like when, when, when people want like, uh, yeah, I thought oh, there's one that. on here. When yeah. people want um, uh, an introduction of you, you know what I mean? And you're supposed to like do it on the spot. And mm -hmm. it's hard to know where, where to start or what to cover or whatever. And uh, it's neat to have you guys do the little compilation intro for me. So <laughs> I think you did a good job, Husk. That was really well, cool. Well, hey, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm glad. I'm glad you like yeah. it more more than anything. So they're cool things. I mean, who doesn't like? But it's dirt probably weird watching yourself. Like it's, weird. <laughs> it's really weird. I'm sure it's weird. Yeah. A lot of this stuff takes getting used to, you know, because like yeah. um, I spent the you know better part of my career as an engineer inside of the bubble that's inside the bubble that's inside the bubble that is a development studio you know which we can talk more about um and so all of this public facing stuff is like super different and weird and strange you know and um it's always just been kind of the game itself you know like our work that has been in front of people instead of fun. you actually yeah yeah and so actually participating with the audience and uh, by the way, there's a reason like for all this. It's not just I decided I want to have a Twitter account or something. Uh, it'd be it's important for us to um, be communicating with the audience. Um, something we call uh, the creators, you know, of the future. And um, I suspect when I say creator, I mean a lot more expansive of a of a definition than or even than deeper, people. maybe. Yeah, deeper. Like so, I'm talking about. Everything from streamers, this, uh, you know, the normal kinds of like the way people talk about content creator to people that work in the animation programs, the audio mastering, you know what I mean? Like the, mm -hmm. the kinds of stuff we use in a game studio, the people that are doing that at home. And uh, we see them as uh, creators. Uh, so they the, are the in-game in photography. That's a great example. And the tools for doing that kind of stuff are increasing. And I have to be careful about how I talk about this, but like the ability to modify a game is increasing, right? Um, a, a good friend of mine said this really well. They said that their kid said to them once, this is years ago, but their kid said one time about Minecraft, sometimes I'm playing in this game and sometimes I'm making the game. You know, sometimes I'm creating in the world. And sometimes I'm playing in the world. And that, it seems like kind of an obvious like distinction within Minecraft. But we think that that's a really important distinction in the world of gaming. Not for everybody. Like um, for a lot of people that buy AAA t titles, they're just going to play, period. But there's another portion that have the ability to create like at that level. And we're interested in them. And I'm interested in them. A show like this, for instance, is is people are going to view that more of the um, the average the sh the show, you know, like when you talk Sorry. about like you said creators, but Sorry. there's but uh, like my thought process on, on creators goes well beyond somebody that it uploads videos to YouTube or does interviews or any Good. of that stuff, Good. which is part of why I have you here. Um, yeah, like, I noticed that you called it the creator feature. Yeah, yes, because that. it's very it's broad, so I can yeah. pull anybody in here. I, I would like I would like to get musicians in here. Um, you know, like I had Joe now from Song of Iron last yeah. week. He was my first first developer I ever I've had on the show. Yeah, and his actually the intro I did for him because his game's about to come out. I took his trailers and pieced them together. And then that's what actually gave me the idea to just keep doing that. So I went and grabbed all the snippets of your stuff and kind of tried to highlight some of me, some of you, uh, like yeah, on yeah, on a you level as opposed to, you know, what you do per se. You know, because I don't know, everybody's human, I guess. Everybody feels like they have 
something unique to express and know where to express it. That's just like, that's just really, really common. And we have these things that have emerged right now, like, you know, Instagram and that kind of, those kind of platforms. And like, suddenly everyone's a photographer, right? You know, mm-hmm. Instagram, right? And, uh, but it has like an aesthetic, right? There's an Instagram kind of like look and everything. And uh, I make fun of that sometimes. Um, and it's like, not really my style. You're not going to find the next like gritty street photographer on Instagram. You know what I mean? Like, not just, likely. I, I'm not, I'm not saying they're not on there. You're just not going to find it. You know what I mean? And so what really separates um, game development is uh, or distinguishes game development is the, the incredible array of like artists that we can accommodate. Right. So all the way from like somebody who authors music to voice performers to animators to modelers to texture artists. Which are- technically mm-hmm. actors i guess in their own right right to- they totally are yeah so th- there's almost no expression of art that we can't include in game i mean it's just like it's so wide that's how i view it is like um a future platform for these for for everybody else for an instagram for weirdos <laughs> <laughs> gaming is going to be instagram for everybody else like uh the the if your art doesn't fit you know what i mean like if your art doesn't fit with instagram that kind of thing uh gaming is the place for you you could hardly name an expression of art you know like you could be a spray paint artist and have a place in the new skate game you know yeah Really? Yeah, that yeah, makes that, sense. That, that, Absolutely. That's, yeah, Absolutely. So that's, that's for real. And so just as YouTube kind of emerged, right? Like if you talk to broadcast people back in the day, they would have laughed about YouTube as being like a big empty thing that doesn't have any programming, right? There's no, mm. there's no content. There's no content <laughs> on YouTube. And then the most surprising thing ever happened the audience showed up and started making it, you know, and I just can't tell you how odd of that of a thing that is from an entertainment maker perspective. So if like what you do is create entertainment, like if you work in a broadcast studio or film production, mm-hmm. game production, you know, uh, it's real strange when uh, the audience uh, kind of like becomes a participant in the whole thing. And um we haven't really seen that yet kind of for gaming, like on a large scale, but it's in our future. 